You know when you're having one of these really bad days when everything seems to work against you and you decide to be brave and strong and push through anyway so things can get better? Well, that was not one of these days. Or well, I did try to be brave and strong and things got even worse. Um, but then something unexpected happened that made me understand why I had to be strong that day. Um, and it made it all worth it at the end. So current life situation is pretty unreal if you ask me. Uh, it's early in the morning, it's raining, and I'm in the middle of a rice field. It's just my bike and I, and we're heading to a viewpoint here in Ningbing. Can we please appreciate the fact that this is an actual road that Google Maps is showing me? Like, cool. I'm so happy I got this bike, because now I have to walk, walk with it. <sighs> I mean, look at the road. It's so wet and muddy that I, I, there is no way I can bike here. I'm gonna fall into the rice field. I don't understand why the people who rented this motorbike to me, aka my hotel people, didn't tell me that the ground gets wet here in Vietnam and muddy when it rains. That's not something that happens where I'm from. So, you know, how would I know? Just different culture. I'm doing it. I'm biking. I'm biking without one hand. Oh! Uh. Do, 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 do. Is there a car coming? No fucking cars on this road, okay? Beautiful here, Vietnam. You're so fucking beautiful. Do, do, do. Great success. Hey. <laughs> Don't mind me. So it is 9 a.m. already and I woke up at 6 a.m. to come here early and like what have I done for the past three hours? I don't know, don't ask me. Like I don't know how it became 9 a.m. all of a sudden. So the viewpoint is up there and you have to climb 500 steps to get there. So it's not a hike, it's more of a walking up stairs. to the first top because there are two. This is the one I wanted. You can see behind me uh, where the dragon is. That's the that's the other top. And here we have some people taking photos of traditional Vietnamese dresses. The view is definitely spectacular. Looking at this, I honestly wish I would be more honest with you in that moment because, well, honest content is good content. I mean, that, that's uh, true. But I feel like years on the internet made me develop almost a bit of this like unhealthy reaction to when things go wrong when I vlog, I often hesitate to share these negative emotions uh, because I feel like I'm gonna be judged for it. So I often try to like put this brave face on and just pretend that I'm loving life because I'm traveling and I'm blessed. And I definitely am, I am, but let's be honest. I must say, Vietnamese tours are very loved. Um, a mysterious flavored ice cream because I'm being adventurous here and now. Hiking up 500 stairs and pouring rain and barely being able to see anything was not the best experience. I mean, the view was still nice, but imagine how good or how much better it would be if the sun would be out. Um, nice weather would have probably made my experience like 100 times better. Also at this point, I was out in the rain for a good couple of hours and my clothes were completely soaked, mostly because dragging the bike through muddy rice field took me twice as much time as walking would. So good tip if you're experiencing rain in Vietnam, maybe don't get a bike because 
getting stuck in the mud um, is, is, it's more annoying than walking and experiencing this kind of weather in northern Vietnam even in spring it's quite common weather here is often very unpredictable so honestly I wasn't even enjoying myself that much and I just wanted to go home but I was like this show must go on I'm here I want to explore as much as possible I didn't realize that you could also come here so it's called Lotus Garden and this is what we could see from the viewpoint from up there you could see that the the bridge here is shaped as a flower which you can't really see from here <clears throat> uh, but yeah but it's, it's nice oh now I get it now wait wait because I guess normally or sometimes you do have Lotus flower here just stopped by this restaurant where I actually had dinner yesterday so I do know that it's good and I'm getting a bun me because I am quite hungry So I ended up having my bun mian in bed and just chillaxing for a bit and now I am back at it, back on my bike and I'm gonna go and see a famous pagoda which is called Bich Dong Pagoda it is actually called that, yes uh, gotta love Vietnamese names I made it and look how beautiful it is just the entrance to the temple pagoda area it's just so picturesque uh, it only took me about 10-15 minutes to bike here from Tam Kok it's about four kilometers I'm on my way to do probably the coolest thing you can do here in Ningbing, which is the boat trip. The boat trips are really spectacular, beautiful views, or at least that's what I saw on the internet because I obviously haven't done it yet. I was kind of waiting for the sun to come out so I can see the beautiful scenic views in, uh, you know, its full glory. But at some point you just realize you cannot wait for something that will never come. Uh, I have not seen sun here in Vietnam ever since I arrived. I've been here for how long have I even been here? I don't know, more than a week. So you take the boat from basically the center of Tam Kok, so 100 meters from where I'm staying. This is the center of Tam Kok, and this is behind. Well, this is where you, you take the boat. So I got the ticket. It was 270 for one person for my own boat. And you do have to wear the vest. I did not choose to wear the vest, guys. Hello. Hello. What's your name? My name is Lao. Lao? Yes. Like the country Lao. I just came from Lao. And we are entering the first cave. It's absolutely beautiful here. I mean, the limestone rocks. I think they're called limestone rocks, right? But looking at it, I totally get why someone came here and decided that like this is a place that they should use for a movie because it doesn't even look real. It, honestly, I feel like we're in some sort of like fake, made up place for tourists also because there are so many tourists here uh, but it's just crazy that nature did it I mean just looking at this I understand why Nenbeng is such a popular destination like this is absolutely incredible like I don't know if the camera is picking it up but it's it's majestic it doesn't feel real you know
As I told you, that was the moment when I understood why I was supposed to be in Ningbing that day. Um, I was crying so much here that I really wasn't making any sense. But because of what happened, I actually ended up staying in Ningbing longer. And in the next vlog, I will tell you the whole story. And also, I know this is little annoying to end a vlog like this. So I decided to combine the story of what happened on that day with the number one question that I get. How do I afford to travel? How did I manage to travel full time for a year? So I'll see you in the next one.